Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be making some melodic house music in the style of Nora N. Pure that sounds something like this. So the first thing we need to come up with is a chord sequence. So the chord sequence I've got is B minor, G major and D major, which will sound like... So there are a few variations of this that come in later on, which I'll go into. So this piano sound is just coming from Native Instruments, weirdly, from the piano called Nora Pure. Really nice sounding piano. And then over the top of that, on a separate layer, we've got another piano which is playing effectively the lead line, which is... So we've got something really basic like that that's going to form the fundamentals of the whole song which we're going to build on. So on top of that, we've also got some ambient pads because her music's very like ambient as well. There's lots of like sounds in the background, very like heavily reverberated. So in terms of pads, we've got So we've got these two little pads that just kind of like build up, just staying on the same chord. Yeah, so we're playing a D major here. I've just switched around the A chord, so the A would be up here for a D major, but I thought it was quite cool to do like an inversion. So we put the A down there. So as we build up, we've also got a second pad that comes in. Again, just playing that one particular chord. Both of them come from Absinthe. They've just been like, they are presets, but they've been kind of like edited slightly to make them sound how I wanted to. So as we progress through the intro. So in the second four bars, we've got the same main chord sequence. We've just changed the melody ever so slightly. This kind of pluck sound, I'll go into it later, that's very typical of this genre of music. If I play just a quick clip of one of her songs, you'll see what I mean. You can hear that kind of 16th note pluck that's happening in the background, so we've taken like heavy inspiration from that. As we build up in the intro, we change the chord sequence slightly on the third time round, so we've got... and then we resolve on the A. Just to keep things interesting, the melody in that is slightly different as well. The whole song is basically gonna fundamentally build around that particular chord sequence. We've also got some other interesting elements in here as we build up to the first drop. I'd call it kind of like a pre-drop because we've got a pre-drop and then we build into like the main drop that happens about eight bars afterwards. So I've also got these guitar melodies in. So I've got those little guitar melodies that come in. Again, the pads are just still playing in the background to build up as we go in towards the pre-drop. What we've done on the end here, I've noticed that she does this quite a lot, actually. The pre-drop should theoretically, if we were following a four bar structure, would come in just here. So if we play this section, you'll be able to see that I've extended it slightly just to build tension as we go into the pre-drop. So at that point, the pre-drop should come in, but what we're doing is we're actually gonna stay on that note for an extra two bars. Just to build some tension as we go towards the pre-drop. And then I've also in here just got this little noise riser as well. So it's just white noise that's being filtered with this plugin called the Drop, which is really good for filters, by the way. Some really like cool filters you can choose from. So again, you can hear that exact same melody from the intro, so this piano is like... So the only difference here, what I've actually done is instead of playing just one note, I've actually kind of progressed down using chords, if that makes sense. In the intro pianos, we can see that this little riff here we've got... And then in the actual drop, it just changes ever so slightly. 
Just kind of like making that little rundown into chords just to make it a bit more interesting and full. Then in this drop as well, we've also got just these like ambient pads that come in. And then also what I've done just to add some kind of like fullness to the sound, this little piano melody, I've um, duplicated it and made it into a synth as well. It's quite a simple sound. It's just coming from Serum. Uh, I've got some delay on there as well. Lots of like delay in this style of music is quite essential. So the pre-drop is going to sound something like... Basically like, again, same as the intro, and then in here as well, we've also got these bass sounds that come in. So the bass is made up of three layers. So we've got... Just kind of like a Reese sound. I've also um, actually high-passed this because we need to make room for the actual sub bass, which I'll show you. So if we bring up a spectrum analyzer, these bass sounds we've got are this Reese bass. We're leaving some room down here for the sub, and the sub is just this sine wave, so. So if I play both of those together. The reason we've done this is so we can independently control the volume of the sub with the volume of that kind of like Reese sounding bass. And then on top as well, so we've actually got three bass layers. We've got this kind of like growly sound. And then as well, on a lot of these elements, they're actually side-chained to the kick. So they're basically ducking down in volume as the kick drum comes in. If we listen, if I take it off. But we want to kind of have that like pumping sound. In terms of that little like rundown I mentioned in the intro. So we're actually using that as well in the second drop. I've just changed it to this kind of like plucky sound. Lots of delay on that. We're just using um, Waves H delay on that. One over eight, ping pong delay, so it's going either side. Makes it sound really nice, really full. So rather than doing that on the piano, just thought I'd do it on that pluck sound just to make it a lot more interesting. Other effects in here, I've got this little... I think I made this in Serum. So it's just this white noise oscillator and we're just actually like modulating the using an LFO to control the like bandpass filter. Then we've got these vocals here as well, which again are like the main focus of the song as we get to the drop. So we've got... So just a vocal sample, again, lots of reverb on these. We've got lots of delay on them as well. One over eight, dotted delay, one over eight. If I take the reverb and delay off and play it in context. And then if I put the reverb and delay on, you can really hear it kind of like fills out that sound. And then in terms of the drums for this pre-drop, just a very simple kick. Added in a little ghost kick there, so we've placed that in different areas around the kick. And then that kick drum's just a different sample, and I've actually just taken off a lot of the high end for that, so just rolled that off slightly. Yeah, so just following on from the chord sequence in the intro, we've got this main kind of like pluck sound. So what I'm actually doing is just kind of like following the main chords that were happening. Made a basic kind of melody following around that. Quite fundamental to this sound is the delay that happens with it. If I take the delay off and then put it on, again, that's like a ping pong delay, so it's going from left to right. Again, got a little guitar that comes in here. Again, playing that little rundown that happens on the piano. Just to make it interesting, adding in some like organic instruments rather than keeping everything sort of like digital uh, as we build up to the next part. So this pluck sound kind of builds. And then as we build up to the main drop, we've just got some like risers that come in. So we've got like that noise one from the intro. Then we've just got some basic kind of like sporadic percussion happening, so.
and then that's when we get to the main drop. The main drop of the song, again, we've got kind of similar stuff to the intro. We've got the exact same chord sequence, got the exact same melody, so... Kind of like the fundamental sound of the song. The main difference here between this drop is the drums that come in. So if we take a quick listen to it. So if we compare this to an actual Nora NPR song. And we've got something that sounds a bit like very kind of similar. In terms of the drums here, again, we've got that kick drum on every beat. We've got a clap here, two claps, so we've just layered one up, so one's like, and the second one is just kind of like two different claps laid on top of each other. And then we've also got a load of percussion elements that come in, so we've got these main like offbeat hi-hats. Then we've also got a few other layers which I made up of. Kind of like quite a washy sound we've got. There's one in there with lots of like movement and different kind of like rim shots happen happening. We've got this one as well, layered with this one. So all together the hi-hats are gonna sound something like this. Then if I play that in context of the song, And then as the sort of like drops come in, I've just got a few effects here. So I've got like a, just like a one note, lots and lots of reverb on this from this Shimmer plugin, really good plugin, really good for like long kind of soundscapey reverbs. Again, we've got these sub basses here. Side chain to the kick drum, same sort of melody. We've just got some sort of like crashes that come in. So like, We've again got this little like pluck sound. Kind of like very sort of like fundamental to the song. Again, we've got these plucks that are happening. Kind of like very sort of like iconic with this genre of music. If I take them out, you can really kind of like hear the difference. And then I'll put them in this time round. Again, following this exact same chord sequence as the intro, we've got these like melodies that come in, so the piano's together alike. One thing to mention here as well is I've actually done something quite interesting with one of the sub bass layers. So if we listen here. So those two notes here are actually part of the main melody, but what I've done just to make it interesting is I've actually put them on one of the, the bass layers so that it's not just the piano that's constantly playing the melody. And then as we build up into the next section, we've got a little breakout here. Theoretically, it should end there, but we've extended it by a bar just to build some tension for the next section. So we come in again. Only difference here from the first half of it is we've just got all these other extra like percussion hits that come in. All those drums together are gonna to sound something like. Yeah, really kind of like percussive, lots of stuff happening just to make it really interesting. You can really hear that, this like pluck, backing pluck sound filtering up now.
just, yeah, kind of like filtering up as we go into the breakdown. I'll just play the whole thing for you so you get some context. <laughs> So the breakdown of this song, really quite simple. I've done something quite interesting with the vocals in this. So what I've actually done, if you remember the vocals from the drop, which was... One more time. What I've done is I've actually taken this ending word, and what I've done is I've actually put it on a sampler track. So if I play the breakdown, you'll see what I mean. And now... So what I've done there is I've just put it on a sample track and I'm just pitching it up slightly so it's like the first one's and the second one is just different notes as well in the breakdown as well we've got this little like kind of vocal effect just a sample uh, slight differences here we've got uh, yeah same chord sequence we've got this um, like backing kind of like uh, arpeggio kind of thing that comes in. Again, that's just following the main chord sequence of the song. So the chord in theory would be like this, like those three notes. But what I've done is I've just kind of like spread them out. So we go up and down. So as we progress through the breakdown, kind of just keep into the same melody again, same chord sequence. We've got some like ambient sounds, like sounds of rainforest, nature sounds in the background, which is really cool for this genre. And now we start building up to the second drop. So this drop, what I mentioned earlier, we're now just doubling the notes. So before it was like, and now we're going, really like building up now sort of like drums are coming in now we've got this little like shuffle which is actually the main shuffle that happens on the second drop we've got this soft kick drum that comes in which filters down it's like snare rolls coming in and then we get into the second drop. So with the build and the second drop, we're gonna get something that sounds like this. A little break here, and then we've got I've actually stripped out a lot of the drums on the second drop. So the only actual like drums that happen here, so we've got the kick drum. Got one of the main offbeat hi-hats and then this kind of like shuffle build that I mentioned as we build up towards the second drop. So what I've done here is I've taken out the actual piano melody that's happening, so we've just got the chords. And we've got a violin, which just kind of like replaces that piano melody. The other interesting thing we've got in here is we have changed the vocals slightly. So we've got the main vocal theme that was happening, which was... One more time. So we've got that and we've also added in these like extra little like vocal things. So if I play that section, we're like... Got this violin. Again, just following the scale. And then we're building tension, an extra one, and then. And then we come back in with all the drums this time. 
Um, so all the drums from the second part of the first drop and then just additionally we've just got these rides in here so so all these drums together are going to sound like this again because it's like the last drop of the song I just wanted to sort of like put everything in here and sort of like really have like a big sort of like ending to the song I'll just play it from here all the way till the end So yeah, there we go. That's how you make some melodic house in the style of Nora NPR. I hope you've enjoyed it.